Uh, there's different, we have different skill levels coming in. We, we have a couple people who are very uh, experienced woodworkers already, and and so in, in some sense, some of the you know the basic woodworking skills that you know we didn't really uh, have to teach them. Although some of the people didn't have any woodworking skills at all, so they and then you know through the painting process, and then, uh, I think everyone everyone learned something, even the experienced people. And, and I, I think with the guitar, it's particularly interesting because everybody loves guitar, but it's it's more than the typical woodworking project. I and mean, cabinets and tables and things are very nice, but. You know, an, an instrument is really kind of transcends just you know being a piece of wood to being a piece of woodworking. They do feel like they, you know, really created something special. You know, to be human is to be creative, right? And these days, when there's you know so much specialization and you know particularly in creating things, manufacturing and so forth, people, I, I think, are starved in a way for uh, creative outlets, particularly with their hands. And so, I think what we really want to do is is let people know that. However they want to express their creativity, they don't need to feel that they need to be an expert at this and that to be able to do it, that they can uh, take an idea uh, from conception to realization and that it, it, it doesn't require um, you know, anything but their you know, belief that they can do it, and well, of course some tools and some equipment, but um, that, that's really the goal, I'd say.